Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some more Dreadnought. And we have started the very first of the Second Glance series. And today we're taking a look at the Ballista. Yes, I realize there have been a few episodes we've gone back and taken a look at a ship. We actually have a name for that now, Second Glance. Anyway, onto the Ballista. Figured it was time to take a good look at it since I've been playing through it a good bit, got a good feel for it. And we're getting really close to that unlock for the Onager. So, quick rundown of the current loadout. Things I want to uh, adjust to or upgrade before I make that final move to the Onager. Um, first off, primary weapon, can't change that, is what it is. Secondary weapon, still run into the light flak turrets because you don't really use them all that much as an artillery cruiser. You know, you get corvettes up in your face, you want to, you know, push them a little bit further out or get rid of them entirely. Uh, I have been taking a look over here at the machine gun turrets, which have a bit more range from 700 meters to 1200 meters, which is a lot better. It gives you a little bit more of that middle range area. Not a whole bunch more, though. Anyway, uh, primary, I have moved to the bomb catapult from Siege Mode. So Siege Mode is great. It's got that area of effect when it hits something and it can damage the other ships around the one that you hit. Even if you miss, you hit a bit of uh, terrain, it'll still blow up, do a little bit of damage to stuff nearby. A great module, love it. Wanted to give Bomb Catapult a try. It sends out quite a few more projectiles and they have a similar effect. So max damage, 24,000 over the 13,000 the Siege Mode can do, or even the upgraded Siege Mode at 16,000. That's assuming you make every single one of those five shots. With a Bomb Catapult, you get 12 bombs to do 24,000 damage. You get a little bit better odds on hitting something if you're not a great shot. Uh, for our secondaries, we're still running the Flechette Missiles, but the upgraded Flechette Missiles... Uh, I could see Drain Missile coming in really handy if you want to start helping take out those larger targets like a Dreadnought. Um, it'll pull all of their power out and drop their shields real quick. Uh, proximity Mines have not personally used these in the past. They look good, not doing a whole bunch of movement. So I'm thinking they have limited usefulness. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. I know some of you guys are a bit more experienced than I am. Um, and Stasis Missile, if you want that thing you're shooting at to stop so you can finish it off, that'd be a good option. Once again, still haven't unlocked it, hadn't had a whole bunch of need for it. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to our perimeter modules. Still running the light auto guns. I mean, they're not great, really not great, but they're at least something to supplement your firepower when you've got something in your face. Uh, Anti-nuke lasers, I could see them coming in handy at higher tiers, but as it is, I don't get a whole bunch of nukes thrown my direction, otherwise I would have installed those already. Uh, Disruptor Pulse, once again, good for getting things out of your face in a little bit more passive way. It does a little bit of damage and it does disorient folks, um, but you really got to have something to follow that up with. You can't just pop it and say you're good. So once again, have not updated to that one. I don't feel like I ever will. Uh, Anti-missile lasers. Uh, if you're doing your job right, you're out of range for missiles. <laughs> Just being perfectly honest. Um, internal modules. So I run. I have been running the stationary cloak too for the longest time. I rarely ever use it. Uh, I did upgrade, so I get you know a little bit, a little bit more duration. 16 versus 18 seconds. Uh, status effect is broken when you use your modules or you get hit, so it's not gonna it's not gonna save you. Um, very recently in one of my matches, I was able to pop this while under a dreadnought, and he totally overlooked me. Did not even know I was there. Um, dive maneuver. That's really good for getting out of the way and getting out of the way real quick. So if you're up against another artillery cruiser or you got something in your face and you've got a bit of terrain to hide behind, that's a good way to get behind that terrain. 
Uh, mobile cloak, once again, not moving a whole bunch, and if you fire weapons at all, it breaks the cloak. So, I felt more comfortable using the stationary cloak. Uh, not that it's got much more use, but that's what I was more comfortable with. As for officer briefings, I figure I've got the best, you know, that I've got unlocked so far. Still working on some of those. Uh, running Communications 101. This reduces your module cooldowns. Not not that big of a deal. Uh, Retaliator. I don't plan on taking a whole bunch of damage to my shields. I mean, usually by the time I'm starting to take damage, I'm I'm done. So, not not super useful in this ship at this time. Uh, we've got weapons 101, but we've selected module lamper just to give us that little bit extra punch. If and when we do decide to run with. Um, our number one slot, our primaries, like our bomb catapult or siege mode. Uh, also, comes in handy when you put energy to weapons. Yeah. And over here on navigation, uh, decided to run with slow and steady, gets you a little bit more damage resistance, makes you just a little bit slower. I would take that damage resistance over movement because really, you, you, your job is to camp. Uh, there are some more mobile artillery cruisers out there, and there's some people who play more mobile artillery cruisers. That is not me. This is the one that I like. And for engineering, same old, same old engineering 101. Extra damage resistance. Uh, get my good side? Not super important. I don't want to be taking damage. If I'm taking damage, I'm, I'm doing it wrong. Uh, and reinforced. Increased max HP and increased module cooldown. Still, 18% is not a whole heck of a lot in an artillery cruiser. And you can see I, I've put in a couple of things for my appearance. Haven't unlocked a whole heck of a lot for this guy just yet. So uh, yeah, that, that is the way that it is. Let's go ahead and hop into a game. Here we go. We are on Onslaught on Ixion. Yeah, um... Once again, you kind of want to stay out of the line of fire. You want to be able to have good eyes on everything you need to shoot. I've found that since I like to go ahead and get up top to get a good view, I might as well go ahead and start spotting people to help my teammates out. And chuck them a bomb catapult. See how they like it. So... If you haven't noticed, there's a uh, there, there's a minimum arming distance for these guys. Oh, come on! I'm gonna miss, which stinks. Oh, oh! Somebody moving within range, maybe. Go ahead and trigger them. Yes, got some damage done on something outside of my normal fire range. Go ahead and boost those maneuvering thrusters and get on in there in their faces. This guy should be just barely within our range. Look at that damage. You know, if you're not if you're not popping shields, I can do some serious good damage to you. Boom! Power to weapons. Almost took him out. And there we go. Final blow. Okay, we got another artillery cruiser over there. And we... Oh! 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 And I'm down. So if you don't have your head on a swivel, like I was failing to do, you'll have guys like this pop up behind you in a Corvette and wreck your day. There we go. Another artillery cruiser probably looking right at us. Wait till we get into range, and if we power to weapons, we should be able to take him out in one shot. Hey, popped his shields just in time to take all that damage in the shield. Go ahead and send him a little surprise party. Oh, okay. A <laughs> little bit worried there. Multiple impacts detected. Yep, getting hurt, getting hurt real good. Getting a little bit too deep into the fight. Give him a little bit more love. Oh, and just barely got me. Oh, hey, look, it's our buddy Neo Wolf. Uh, if you haven't said hello, go say hello to him over in the community Discord. Uh, link is in the about section on the channel, and I hope to see you there. 
will say this is not my best match ever, but I am having a blast, and once again, that is entirely the reason to be playing. Where'd he go? Must have warped. But you can guarantee that Corvette is headed our way. Uh, something I'm not the best at is leading your target. Definitely have to be leading your target. You know they're moving, match, well, just predict where they're going to be, and then that's where you throw the round. They're a little bit out of range for me at the moment. There we go. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> that happens every now and then. They should have quite a bit of trouble headed their way, and real soon. The Most of them are pretty low. Let's go ahead and pop those. Go ahead and throw in a little bit of damage to the command ship. It's one of the coolest things about these. You can throw a little bit of damage into everything, and you'll either get assists or kills. Uh, I don't know how much that actually plays into, well, what you get on the back end, but it does all add up. I've been trying to figure out what gives you the absolute best return. Is it dealing damage? Is it taking damage and helping buddies? Or, you know, whatever. And I'm thinking... Uh, kills are definitely not part of the equation on how much you get out of a match. You can look at it and as an artillery cruiser. Okay, I don't know what's hitting me, but I don't like it. See if that minimum arming distance comes into effect. Yep. Uh, there we go. Was able to drop some bombs in their general area. Unfortunately, I was not able to time it quite perfect because of the death. To be perfectly honest, I probably get a bit too aggressive with these. But, you know, having fun. <laughs> this is where those uh, machine gun turrets would come in really handy. There we go. Let's throw a little bit of power into those shots and see if we can lead our target. There we go. Uh, power to weapons actually increases your re reload speed as well, which does come in super duper handy. Oh, somebody's coming straight for me. Looks like we've got somebody who wants to ram me. Oh, they were all rushing to get me. <laughs> a side effect of having a channel. Yeah, going after an artillery cruiser is always a good idea. We throw out a ton of damage, and you don't really want to take it. Ooh, command ship. Throw some bomb catapults over there. See what kind of damage that does on its own. Getting close. They're probably going to hit. Yeah, they totally hit. And for the ones that slightly missed, I was able to trigger them manually and be able to get in just a little bit more damage, even though they didn't hit. There's our buddy Neo Wolf again. Double checking, making sure all the things around me are friendlies. Go ahead and throw him a little bit of amped up stuff. There we go. Smart man. Backing up. Go help out. Well, get some help from your friendly tactical cruiser. Uh, throw a little bit of power into this one. I find that adding power to weapons is so super important. Like... Oh, 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 get out of here. Get out of here. Ah, oh, didn't get all of my stuff off to take him out. Once again, keep your head on a swivel. It's relatively easy to get tunnel vision no matter what ship you're in. It's even worse with something with a zoom like this has. So easy to just have your head totally buried in what you can see down that, I'm going to call it a scope, even though it's not really like a scope scope. Yeah, there we go. I think he had auto repair on, which is why he even survived that. Go ahead and throw him just a little bit more love. There we go. Oh! We had a decent match. That was far from my best. And uh, if you're interested, bug me and I will get you guys a bit of a highlight reel. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. And I highly recommend the Ballista, especially if you like doing artillery cruiser things. It's a really good one. Uh, I have opinions on the other ones, and we'll get to those uh, when we get to those. 
but eight assists and six kills? That's really not terrible. I've had a few where I've had quite a bit more, but was helping out the team a whole bunch, putting in at least a little bit of damage on everything out there on the field, making everybody's job just that little bit easier. Well, before I take too much of your time, I wanted to say thank you for joining me. If you liked it, you want to see more of this kind of thing, hit that subscribe button because there is absolutely more Dreadnought coming down the pipeline, and I really hope to see you there. And don't forget, if you want to join the community, have a chat with us, meet some other folks, you know, come join the community Discord. Link is in the About section on the channel, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.